This short video about the study Qur'an is meant to familiarize readers with the main features of the book and to give them an idea of how the text is organized and presented. A good place for readers to start is the general introduction, which provides a rich overview of the Qur'an and its place within Islamic religion and civilization, and discusses how the study Qur'an came to be and what makes it different from other works about the Qur'an. The general introduction also details how the editors collaborated to produce the translation and commentary, information that is also found on its own page after the table of contents. Each chapter or surah has its own introduction, summarizing the content of the chapter and providing other background information such as when it was revealed and how it relates to other chapters. The heart of the study Qur'an is the translation and commentary. The translation is at the top of the page with the commentary in two columns below it. The translation is numbered using medallions to separate the verses or ayat from each other, as is done in the original Arabic. The study Qur'an commentary covers the entire translation. The translation is quoted as italics and other passages from the Qur'an are frequently cross-referenced. The commentary discusses questions of ritual, theology, metaphysics, the spiritual life, law, sacred history, and other topics. The commentary is based largely upon traditional Qur'an commentaries, or tafsir, a major genre of literature in Islamic civilization. The capital letters in parentheses indicate that the information mentioned in the study Qur'an commentary comes from one of these works. They are listed in the front of the book by the capital letter used to identify them. The citation of R for Razi, for example, does not mean that he necessarily held the opinion cited, but only that he mentions it in his work. When a commentator is quoted by name, as here where it says Razi asks himself, it refers to his own opinion. An appendix at the back of the book provides short biographies of the commentators used in the study Qur'an. A crucial dimension of Qur'an commentary consists of the sayings of the Prophet Muhammad, called hadith, and sayings of the early generations of Muslims. An appendix provides the citations for the hadith and sayings mentioned in the commentary, including a bibliography of the collections in which they are found. The study Qur'an also contains 15 companion essays by various scholars on all aspects of the Qur'an and its place in Islamic religion and civilization. Eight pages of color maps are also part of the book. They provide geographical information on Arabia and about important events related to the Qur'an. A timeline provides important dates related to the Qur'an and the life of the Prophet. Finally, a comprehensive general index is there to help the reader find items in the introductions, the translation and commentary, the essays, and the maps. All the information in this video and more can be found in greater detail at the beginning of the book, including a guide to Arabic transliteration and pronunciation. Downloadable samples and other information can be found on the Study Quran's website, thestudyquran.com.